So thank you everyone for joining this session. So today um, I'll be sharing about what we do does of the organization, what we do does and the impact of our work and how you can uh, also create this, a similar impact in the education sector. Um, as you can see, obviously I'll be talking about mentorship for leadership development. So we, before we kick off uh, our session, I want to ask a few reflective questions to all of you. So you can choose uh, to give a response by either giving me like a thumbs up using the emoji like feature or just make use of the chat saying like, yes no maybe Oops. okay so have you ever um, experienced not knowing what you really want in life have you ever been in a situation where you have no idea how to handle it or have you met someone who isn't sure what career path they want to take have you doubted yourself and your ability to achieve something? So give me some, uh, give me some responses. I would love to see um, if um, if you have experienced like any of um, the listed questions. Yeah, um, someone said yes. So. Um, like as you are working in the post um, secondary education sector, you may have come across students or even your colleagues who are in search of their passion and what they want to do in life um, or like finding ways to achieve their goals. And uh, there are also like some students who are really ambitious, but don't know like how to get there um, or like um, how, like what plan they need to um, achieve for the one to um, in life. So what the point I want to emphasize here is that at some point in your life, uh, either someone you know or even yourself uh, may have lost sight of um, who you really are, like your identity, your goals, and um, even like the very existence of, of yourself uh, because of, you know, difficult circ circumstances or unforeseen events like coup in Myanmar or like global pandemic hitting um, everyone's life. So um, when you face like these kind of uh, uncertainties, challenges, or difficulties in life, and then you want to achieve something greater, this is where the mentorship comes in. So as introduced um, by the facilitator, my name is Da a program coordinator at Redo, um, a non-government organization started in 2012 with a simple uh, belief that um, half of all leaders in the world should be women. So we do believe that every woman um, who strives to reach her full leadership potential should have the opportunity to do so. And um, that a society where every talented woman has the opportunity uh, to contribute to the best of her ability is a better society for all. So this year, it marks our 10th year anniversary. And as looking back, um, to date, we have nurtured the leadership development of over 2,000 women across Asia by supporting their unique lifelong journeys with mentorship, leadership training, customized opportunities, and funding for education through future income sharing agreements. So these individuals are inspiring um, people who are committed to changing um, the, uh, uh, the status quo in their communities. We believe that our global community of leaders and gender equity allies have the power to achieve large scale um, social change. And um, here are some of the programs that we are offering. So Introduction to Leadership is a course to help participants reflect on their goals, assess their leadership potential, clarify their um, priorities, then map out um, their vision for life through a structured set of questions and reflected exercises. So it is a self-paced online two-month course um, open to any female identifying individuals who are age 18 and above. So even if you are like uh, 40, 52, you can apply as long as you want to um, 
do self-reflection uh, for your leadership growth. And we do also run multiple mentorship programs for like different target groups. So currently um, we run a mentorship program for women in Asia uh, through the Global Mentorship Program. It is, um, it is our flagship mentorship program open to um, any woman who have completed at least 16 hours of leadership training at we do. And there is also another program uh, for young women and uh, men in the refugee camps uh, along the Tanya Ma border. So this is in partnership with the International Rescue Community. And there is also another program for professional women in the ASEAN region. So this is the, in partnership with the US um, for ASEAN. Um, so we do offer uh, an alternative financing option for education through future income sharing agreements. Uh, we call them like FISA. Uh, there are neither scholarships nor loans. It's a pay forward program where women who receive FISA agrees to contribute a percentage of her income for a period of time in the future once she completes her education and get an employment. And these contributions will support other women in the community to achieve their education as well. So it creates more impact um, than um, like one person. So it keeps quite amplifying the impact as well. In addition, we host uh, women's leadership academies and provide tailored leadership development opportunities for women in our leadership community. So in today's presentation, I will focus on mentorship. And since the start of my presentation, I've talked about mentorship, mentorship all the time. So what exactly is mentorship to us? So to us, um, mentorship is um, a two-way horizontal relationship between a mentor who is typically more experienced and um, a mentee who typically uh, wants to gain more experience. So here um, I listed um, six important elements in a mentoring relationship. There could be more. Um, and I want to start off with empathic listening. So it is a skill set of an individual who plays the role of a mentor to listen attentively to a mentee without being judgmental. What I mean is that a mentor seeks to understand rather than um, quickly draw a conclusion or form an opinion about a person. And the second important element in the mentor relationship is skillful questioning. So this is um, a skill that a mentor uh, must have. Basically, it is because usually a mentee, when it comes to mentor relationship, they expect that a mentor have all the answers that they are looking for, you know, all the solutions that they want to um, resolve. Uh, what a mentor can do is that they turn um, this uh, to like thought provoking questions, like they throw the thought provoking questions at the mentee so that they can, um, you know, like sit back and reflect on and then come out with their own answer and solutions. And this ties to another element, which we call insights through reflections to find ways to solve a problem or handle a, situ a situation, looking inward is the first and foremost step uh, before looking outward. What it means is that um, the mentee needs to go through like a series of self-reflections and observations to be more self-aware and lead themselves before being able to lead others in the community. And the mentor role also involves encouraging independent actions. For example, decision making. Um, so the mentor does not provide directed advice like, you know, choose this career path, do this or do that, um, or like make this decision. They don't do that. Rather, they provide support and guidance. For example, in, a, in making your decisions, how do you do it? Um, so before you make your decision, did you think about this, you know, element? Uh, did you think about the options you have? Did you think about the consequences? So if you choose this path, so what are the options that are open to you? What are the challenges that you may face? So basically, 
a mentor provides this guidance to the mentee and the mentee thinks through these steps and make decisions on their own and they own up to their actions. Um, last, uh, but not definitely not the least, is sharing experiences. Um, it's a, kind of like the core of mentorship as well. Because like I said, typically mentors tend to have more experience that can support the mentee's growth and development. And mentees spearhead the mentorship relationship by proactively taking initiatives um, to grow themselves and to learn more. And all of these are essential elements in a mentor-mentee relationship. So what does mentorship at We Do look like? Since our focus is to support the leadership development of um, our mentees, we have resources and structures um, to guide the mentor and the mentee throughout the program. So at we do, we have identified seven leadership dimensions, the circle you see, these are, we, we call them like leadership dimensions, and they, they, each of the, the dimension has its own leadership traits. Um, so we believe that anyone who exhibit all of these leadership traits are great leaders, uh, but we acknowledge that not like um, not anyone exhibit like all of these strongly. Uh, for example, some may be like very strong at um, action oriented or like enterprising, but they may they may be lacking at for, exa uh, for example like risk taking or um, like change seeking. For me, uh, when I reflect through myself, I think I'm a very principal person, uh, but I'm not very enterprising. So what I'm going to do as a mentee is that I look through like each dimension and each leadership trait and uh, see which one I am very good at and which one I think I need to or I want to grow with my mentor. And the role of we do is that match me, the mentee, with a mentor who can support the leadership traits or the leadership dimensions that I want to grow in, um, in, uh, in the mentorship program that I sign up uh, for. Um, so as um, I am paired up with the mentor, I work through these leadership traits to become a more effective leader. So we do provides an, an eight month um, one-on-one -on -one mentorship uh, online. Uh, uh, which is like extendable. The length of eight months is extendable subject to which mentorship program uh, you are joining. And we recommend that the mentor and mentee <clears throat> meet at least once every two weeks. That makes two times a month. So which is based on mutual availability. We don't schedule like call to you to, you know, um, see your mentor or your mentee on this day, this time. We don't do scheduling. The, it is the responsibility of the mentor and mentee to do scheduling based on their own like availability. And like I said before, there are two like sessions each month. So one session focus on goal setting, how to set smart goals. I'm sure like all of you are familiar with uh, setting smart goals, like being specific and measurable. Um, action oriented, uh, realistic, and uh, timely. So they learn how to set smart goals and they share uh, with their mentors. So these are my smart goals. And then when the mentor um, uh, look at these goals and if they think that these goals are not smart enough, um, then they will um, share with them that, oh, okay, these goals are not um, smart enough yet. So how are we going to make it smart more? So they refine them, but they don't set the goals for the mentees. Please know that. And the other session focus on the leadership uh, lessons. Um, and we have our own leadership curriculum and then they go through the leadership lessons together. And another way that we can track the mentorship uh, progress, like the goals progress and whether the mentee is taking leadership actions or not is through surveys. So we send surveys to our mentors, mentees separately, and then they can um, uh, fill up the mentee's leadership actions that they have taken. For example, one of the leadership traits is um, pursuing growth opportunities. So in the past two months that she has um, matched with like a mentor, did she like uh, apply for any scholarship opportunity? Did she um, speak at um, any like engagement like uh, event? Um, did she uh, enroll in a program? Something like that. So they, we track through um, the survey. And then um, another piece is reflection. We encourage uh, the mentor and mentor to reflect back on the journey and um, you know, see what are small wins that we can celebrate. We celebrate together. 
we, we've been able to um, you know, meet every session, that's great. But what are the challenges that we face? Um, did we have like scheduling issues? Did we have like time management issues? So these issues, we ask them to reflect and note them down uh, and then give us feedback or give each other feedback so that uh, we can um, improve as we move forward. And we also have like a very dedicated team who provide ongoing mentorship support um, to the mentor and mentee. So if they have any issues, you know, that they face any challenges they have, then uh, they can always write to us and we will respond to them in a timely manner. So um, here on the slide, um, you see the numbers of our community and basically the mentorship impact data. Um, I'm not going to talk more about it because I'm more excited about um, talking about uh, the mentorship impact uh, through um, uh, the mentor and mentee testimonials. So um, the mentorship is not only beneficial for the mentees, but also for the mentors as well. So here you can see on the slide is Monica. Um, our mentor from India. Um, she has mentored uh, uh, two mentee in two different mentorship programs at we do. She says that um, she said that mentoring is a two-way relationship. The more you give, the more you grow. And over the past year, she said that she has had the privilege to see the mentees um, grow into strong, confident and empower young leaders. They are taking charge of um, making changes in their, in their lives, in, in their surroundings, the communities by challenging the status quo and mentoring these strong will and passionate young women has helped her in all of their um, grit and resilience. And acting as a, a sounding board to them has made her uh, a better listener increase her ability to nurture and empathize as well and most importantly she said it has taught her how to constantly self-upgrade in order to support um, the mentees better so for mentors um, they can become a pillar of support to uh, these young women and men and then also gain insight into the realities and challenges that people from like, different backgrounds uh, face, which are not necessarily resonated with the mentors themselves. So it's a like reality check like function as well. So this is something that they can gain out of the mentorship relationship. And this is Menti Arshe. She is um, uh, she shared her um, testimonial about the leadership uh, pro uh, mentorship program. And I quote, the best part about my mentorship experience was how my mentor was able to support me both personally and professionally. My mentor's guidance and encouragement helped me in making decisions regarding my career is something I am extremely grateful for. He was also very helpful in sharpening my personal vision and goals. It was truly an absolute delight. So through mentorship, um, mentees can have a better understanding of um, themselves and what they want to go after in life. Their purpose in life has become like much clearer with the guidance of their mentor, and they are able to work on their um, educational goals, for example, or their community goals or their leadership goals. Um, when they face challenges in life, in their studies or in the workplace, they can talk to their mentor and uh, learn from their experiences as well and gain their insight and perspective on how they think. So the mentor can actually uh, build, uh, how do you say, multi-perspectives like view uh, by engaging in conversations with their mentors. And mentee can also get exposed to wider networking opportunities and resources through the mentor as well. And we have so many stories where the mentees share that um, their mentor has guided them and supported them mentally and also be curator of like reference by providing recommendation letters in their university admission or in their scholarship applications. And I want to let you know that we work uh, not only with uh, posting students in Asia, but also with career women and women um, who are about to start their careers. Um, almost 80% of um, 
uh, women who work are age uh, between 18 to like 30 years old um, and they are people who just graduated from high school or they are in their university education or they are about to their st uh, start their career so um, what does it tell us and I am aware that this um, uh, you know, conference is for the education sector. So I just want to share that how might it look like uh, for the post education sector with regards to mentorship. So mentorship uh, for students or young learners help them build like uh, confidence, uh, focus on their self confidence and building like relationships. Um, a close example I can give you is that um, when a student is um, not so confident about her or his ability to uh, reach their goal, Let's say like to, to get into university or to get a scholarship, but having a mentor uh, beside uh, him or her, uh, like through spirit or, you know, uh, in person, it can be like virtually or it can be in person, right? Um, having them as a support, like a system, uh, like give them self-confidence basically. And in times of difficulties, especially um, during the crisis and when, uh, when they feel like the wall is closing in and there is no, um, there is no like opportunities like that they think they are not able to get into. A mentor can be uh, their support system to have them navigate through challenges and failures. So what about for like educators and staff and teachers? Um, they can also build support system among themselves. For example, um, a less experienced teacher uh, can be paired up with a more experienced teacher uh, or a headmaster or a principal, and then um, uh, have like, uh, like peer mentoring where, uh, for example, they face like a, a classroom like um, challenges. Uh, you know, my students, uh, I feel like when I go to class, they're not listening to me. So what should I do? Like, I think this, 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 and then they can discuss with their mentor and work out these challenges and come up with like solutions as well. And they can also be like a positive influence on students' accomplishments. And most importantly, they can model leadership because young people want them to become leaders one day, um, be um, change makers in our communities, you know, be leaders uh, like social change or political change or any change that you want to um, make uh, must like go through young leaders, right? So you can do it by modeling your leadership as well. So um, if my presentation in any case like interests you and you want to like pilot uh, mentorship um, in your education program or in your school, uh, what I would encourage you to do is identify what you want to achieve, like what outcomes you want out of this um, um, like mentoring sessions and the impact that you want to create in the long run. And I also explore ways to structure your mentorship sessions. So at we do we have one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions, but due to you know uh, the human resources that you have, due to the size of the school, you can do like group mentoring as well. So group mentoring is basically one mentor is ment uh, mentoring like a group of uh, mentees. It can be like up to like five to six. It depends on uh, how many mentees like the mentor can take, or you can do peer mentoring like uh, between teachers um, or between like educators or between like teaching staff or non-teaching staff and um, grow like each other. So the good thing about mentorship is, is it's not age limited or it can be uh, at like every stage in your career. So mentorship, can, it is applicable to like every one of you. And you can also connect or and collaborate with value aligned organizations to learn from the experience, the, the lessons that they have gotten from implementing the mentorship program in, in their um, school settings or in, in their like educational programs. And, and then try to like pilot it um, if you're interested. And yeah, that, that comes to the end of my presentation. Um, if you want to learn more about we do, uh, you can go to the website provided. We also have Facebook, we also have Instagram. And if you uh, want to like ask any questions about we do or the programs that we offer, uh, please feel free to reach out to da at we do .org. Um, Thank you so much uh, for listening in and um, staying until the end. So you can ask me any questions. Yes.
Uh, okay, uh, yeah, bye. So uh, tomorrow website will be launching introduction to leadership. Um, so it um link share bono. So tomorrow got the nego. So go up on pull out uh intake you bono. So go intake got on pull out you raise. So tomorrow I'm gonna lose yara. Go up go out running it bono. The June July July lama time. So um now lama the intake will go. Tomorrow got the lose it all. The lama the like in a few months like uh my tomorrow ramble share bono. So tomorrow I go uh link for be to lay yara bono. Okay. อ่าจมาเว็บไซต์ชาวไลน์มาครับที่สุดจมาสามารถสื่อเอ่อเราจะมาเรียนคอมมูนิตี้มาโอ้อัตเตอร์เนี่ยจะมาปนเนาะเต
So, percentage of that are 5% and 10% here. So, to got 7% of like my future salary for like uh, five years. Uh, and your agreement with that. My future salary got back in my อ่าคําถามอันนี้ที่เนี่ยนายเนี่ยเนี่ยที่เนี่ยนายเนี่ยถ้าวิกาลเลสออฟดาเอราโกโอ้อะมุมมาทาเบเนี่ยตุเตเ
ดอลลาร์ทองเบลูเดสุเรหาบูอ่าตูก็อยู่ในพอบจ้านไหนปอนอจมาตูก็ตูเรสินาปีปอนะครับเกยมีก็มีชื่อโซชิจมีก็มี
di program saya kerana Abu Obama saya kerja so jumlah mah pula bono. Siapa so cuma pula ni sebab tu orang cuma tu orang bahagian lain so campaign mah ada di bono di jam tu jam nak rega sedang di rega cuma tu orang bahagian kedua ada so tu di si si saya me si saya me belum le pinjai lain jam kita bahagian lain so tu orang ni tay macam apa bono ni tay macam siapa kuih lain ada ni de pula tu Pemama baru cintai surau le, di sana dia yare dua meri nyare pono. Surau campiran eh, tu guru kata lu mukak carry sih pono. So, cang mah penjilai mesolusi. Kuna sama elis dia tu lu be, bukum le. Cang mah lu mukak mama ya ya di konsultan tu boleh mula mesi pono, konsultan tu mula mesi pono. So dah, cuma campiran lor dah lu cintai. So sama ini sama perlu mesi le. So le, kami u biopi me. Sistem yang mesiu puno, macam pun ini bi sura hamil bersih. So cuma taro era gu di daya puno, di juga pesta masih ada lima dunia itu sudah pura lumi atau jala ya puno. So di masih ada sesama mara puno, di main grandma tipi tipi ni mah di tema tipi tipi di juga pesta kama tipi tipi lolo ni dia di education service bi ni dia sesama mara ga lumi gu senja bi ni no jawa ro. Kami melulu acara rutin mereka, terus ya di bawa sisa pita ya di bawah. Kalau tahun ini sisa pita ada titi elu, aku ni lalu sisa pita no. Kami kami melulu acara rutin dia pun. Tapi acara ni dia sisa pita lah. อ่าที่จะมาเรียนอ่าลูกลูกเสียรู้จะมารู้อ่าเพื่ออาจารย์มีเวิร์คช็อปปีรานิวโรกรุ๊ปเมนเทอร์เรปปงจันโลปีราน
ก็มาเน้นคอร์ปอนดาจาร์ออฟวอลเลนทอรีเบสิสปอนอ่ะอธิการจาร์ออตัวอัลลาโกต้องนายเนี่ยชาวนายเอชเอ็นพีนายเน